The world is a rich and dynamic place. We have so many new pieces of research from adventure and exploration to discovering wrongs that should be righted. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three recent discoveries. Fossils found in Batagaika Crater Deep in the permafrost of Siberia lies an enormous mega-slump crater known as the Batagaika Crater. At around 1 km long and over 86 meters deep, this massive void in the Earth is only increasing in size and at a rapid rate. The area around Batagaika is composed of dense, hard permafrost created by an ice freezing into the ground and being buried for thousands of years, resulting in layers of packed ice and sediment. However, around 60 years ago, the area fell victim to the rapid deforestation that has become so common in the modern world, and there were not enough trees left to adequately shade the ground, causing the permafrost to slowly thaw and collapse, creating the massive crater. And while locals in the region avoid it at all costs and view it superstitiously as a door to the underworld, what this massive hole in the permafrost can reveal about the past is of great interest to scientists. In much the same way that analysis of the rings of a felled tree can tell stories of climates and weather events from the past, so can the collapsed permafrost as they reveal through exposed sediment layers what the soil and earth composition was like millions of years ago. Nowhere else in the world is there such a visible and complete record of almost every change in climate for the last 200,000 years, so scientists have moved quickly to take advantage of the situation. And this knowledge of past climates is vital as scientists try to determine what effects global warming will continue to have on the delicate and already precarious permafrost layer, and consequently what that deterioration will mean for the rest of the world. Interestingly, knowledge of past climate changes and the potential effects of modern-day climate change is not the only interesting thing that has turned up in the ever-widening Siberian crater. As the permafrost has melted down and revealed layers of the past, several Ice Age fossils have been revealed that would otherwise have remained stuck under the hardened permafrost forever. Among the finds was a 40,000-year-old foal that was found perfectly preserved, with even its hair still totally intact. The permafrost acts as an enormous freezer of sorts for the ancient prehistoric animals who had lost their lives and were overtaken by the ice, allowing them to remain frozen and protected from the elements until the widening Batagaika revealed them to scientists as perfectly preserved time capsules of the distant past. Although the melting permafrost and rapidly growing crater is an immense cause for concern, and an indication of just how fragile the seemingly tough Siberian permafrost truly is when faced with human intervention and global warming, scientists have been able to take advantage of a bad situation by using it as an opportunity to learn about the distant past. It's not often that such clear examples of what the Earth looked like thousands of years ago come to light, and the well-defined sediment history combined with dozens of perfectly preserved fossils have allowed scientists to study and learn an immense amount about what the Siberian climate was like thousands of years ago, as well as how continued human intervention and global warming might continue to affect the region and the planet in general. New Species of Human Discovered in a Cave in the Philippines the history of the human species is as equally rich and complex as any other species on Earth. While we Homo sapiens ended up being the only surviving examples of humans, there are many other species of humans that have existed over millennia. In 2019, the rich human species grew just a little bit larger thanks to the discovery made by a team in the Philippines. Homo luzonensis, the small human species, was found from a small collection of bones, including seven examples of teeth. The discovery is the third of its kind on a Southeast Asian island to be host to a discovery towards the history of the human species. Armand Miares, an archaeologist from the University of the Philippines Diliman and leader of the Luzonensis project, said, For a long time, the Philippine islands have been more or less left out. 
This, however, has shown to be the wrong way of thinking, and the island nation could be host to much more than scientists initially believed. Yasuki Keifu, a paleoanthropologist at Tokyo's National Museum of Nature and Science, also said, This discovery highlights the remarkable diversity of archaic hominins once present in Asia, in a way beyond my expectation. For a long time, Asia's role in the history of the human species was considered to be well understood. Paleoanthropologists knew that ancient human species travelled across the continent to areas such as Indonesia by using land bridges to the more isolated and remote islands we know today. However, some areas were considered to be too difficult to cross for humans with rudimentary tools and no form of sailing or water travel. Luzon, where the new discovery was made, is one of these remote locations, far away from the mainland of Asia. It has never been connected by land bridges, so the belief was that study in the region would be pointless, with teams never digging deeper than two meters in the hope of discovering human materials. Researchers in 2004 blew that idea out of the water with their famous Hobbit discovery, a short species of humans that lived on the Indonesian island of Flores up until 50,000 years ago. In later years, even more discoveries of human fragments were made. Excavations yielded part of a femur, as well as finger and toe bones and teeth, all belonging to three distinct human individuals. The ancient remains show a type of human with a unique mixture of ancient and modern characteristics. For example, the teeth are small and shaped much more similarly to those of modern-day humans, but one of the upper premolars found by the archaeologists has three roots, which is a characteristic present in less than 3% of the population today. Similarly, one of the uncovered foot bones shows a likeness to those belonging to the Australopithecines, an ancient group of human family relatives to which Lucy, the famous Australopithecus fossil, belongs to. Paleoanthropologist Michael Petraglia from the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History states that an artifact found back in one of the 2010 discoveries illustrates that the species of human present in the Philippines were hunters and toolmakers. When discussing the potentially new species of humans, Petraglia says, if rhinos can swim and get to places, certainly we can think of that. Erectus, Theresiensis and Luzonensis not necessarily just swam, but at least rafting, if not boating. It's just pure speculation, but you could posit that and make some convincing arguments. Scientists are hopeful that Southeast Asia holds more fossils yet to be discovered and that their understanding of human history could soon be expanded even further. Google Earth Circular Underwater Anomalies Google Earth has enabled researchers and the general population of the world to be able to explore various parts of the world through satellite imagery. Over the years, a number of strange anomalies have been detected on Google Earth. One such anomaly is that of the mysterious circles made underwater in different parts of the world. Most of these circular underwater anomalies have been found in North America. One site of these circular underwater anomalies is located off of the coast of North Carolina in the United States. The anomaly features multiple underwater circles that seem to have been made artificially. Another site of such an anomaly is located off the coast of Florida. The underwater circles near Florida seem to have a perfect circular shape. The third site is located off the coast of Yucatan in Mexico. The underwater circles at this site are quite similar to those found off the coast of Florida. Ancient civilizations created many circular geoglyphs in different parts of the world. However, they are all located on land. Researchers believe that there could be a possibility of some of the underwater circles being made by some ancient civilization. Some initial research work has indicated that these underwater circles could be ancient burial mounds. However, nothing conclusive can be said about these circles until further research has been conducted. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.